We got seven minutes on the clock today. We're going to talk about the world of venture capitalists. Now, a lot of you entrepreneurs are so terrified to talk to a VC. How do I approach them? How do I communicate with them? Maybe they've invested in me. How do I keep the conversation going? So I brought in a friend of mine who's been doing it for 35 years, and he's going to share us some insider tips in the world of VC. Guy, welcome to the show, man. Thank you, Josh. Um, what a great question. <laughs> yeah, so let's uh, dive all, in with there. How do you talk <laughs> with a VC? First of all, always remember they're human, just like you, okay? So I know it's intimidating. I know they have a bunch of money and you need money. And for you to live your dream, you know, you have to make sure they write a check. Uh, but remember, they're human. And I think just like every other human, they have preferences, they have experiences, they have biases. So just keep that in mind as much as you can. Uh, I understand a lot of entrepreneurs are young, uh, which means some of these life uh, skills are not necessarily 100% developed. Still, you want to be yourself and you want to be remember that the other side is, is, is as human as you are. So uh, having put that aside, um, the, 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 the most in the venture capital world, uh, the way to actually, the first thing you want to do is get in to see someone. And unfortunately, getting to see someone just like in any, uh, any other uh, uh, field out there, you're not going to be able to send a cold letter as in the old days we used to do, or now maybe a cold email and hope that somebody sees it and says, oh, gee, I want to do this. Uh, let me take a look at this. I'll get you to some anecdotes about what I used to do competitively, but for now, let's just forget that. So the number one thing you have to do when you want to get into see a venture capitalist, you need to know someone who knows them. Who are the someones who know them? By order of, of uh, uh, importance, the someones who know them are what we call service providers in our, in our world. That's your lawyer, right? Every town, every city, every place that's got a, that's got a VC presence will have a dozen or so law firms that are focused on the VC business. So if I get a recommendation to look at a deal from, a, from a, uh, a, a, an attorney, um, it, at least it opens that door. And now I'm, you know, I'm going to take the phone call or I'm going to read the business plan or I'm going to you know, accept seeing the entrepreneur. That's the first thing. Same with the CPAs, uh, and, you know, patent attorneys, you name it. It's, it's what we're calling the service provider world. Uh, that's very, very important. The second thing that's the, the, the way you can do that is obviously ex-entrepreneurs. A lot of entrepreneurs that have been financed by venture capitalists, no venture capitalists, and they have their reputation on the line as to who they're going to introduce to their venture capital friends. However, if you cut the test already with them because they happen to be someone that you know, someone that you met at a conference, someone that is in your neighborhood, the kids go to the same schools, there's just, there are so many ways of doing this. Now they can make an introduction as well. That's very, very important. So the key here is you want to get through a venture capitalist to someone who knows them. Crucial, crucial, crucial. Because then you've killed that particular uh, first step, which is the famous, every venture capitalist gets hundreds of business plans a month and they don't have time, you know? Yeah, it's true, actually. And I could tell you some anecdotes about this from my world, but yeah, it's true. We get a lot of cold business plans and we don't have time to take a look at them because we're busy with our portfolio. We're busy looking at deals. We're busy traveling, etc. cetera. So uh, that introduction is crucial, crucial, crucial. Um, beyond that, I think once you get that introduction, again, you just want to be yourself. Um, if if you're meant to have, just like any other business relationship you might have in the world, if it's meant to be, it's going to happen. So you have to walk in, be yourself, tell your story, and explain why this is going to be successful. Now, we have a bias as venture capitalists. The better you know your world, the better you know, you know your technology, the better you know how, how you can grow your business. And I'm going to stick mostly to the life sciences side here because I know, Josh, you probably have guests on the other side, on the tech side. But on the venture capital side, I want you to know what the regulatory uh, uh, requirements are going to be. I want you to know, I want you to understand, even though this is just an idea, uh, I want you to understand the the patents. We are very, very well. I want to understand 
um, why this market is large, why the doctors are going to buy your product. Um, reimbursement is a big issue. We're a highly regulated world, you know, so reimbursement is also very, very important. So you walk in that door and you'll be ready to answer every single question about what things look like 10 years from today. Yeah. Okay. That's just crucial. Got it. So, uh, and then again, remember, as you're doing this, no reason to be nervous. Um, first of all, you're going to do a whole bunch of them if you get the right introductions. So it's not like you're just going to have one person to talk to. You'll be talking to six, seven. Uh, as humans, we're going to get better with every presentation. The chemistry is different with every group. Uh, you know, so so it's going to get better. You know, it, 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 you could hit it out of the park the first time. You could not hit it out of the park the first time. And maybe it's going to take you five to six times before you do that. It's okay. The last thing I forgot to mention is, is uh, venture capitalists will show deals to other venture capitalists. So the second you get your first bite, if you like, the first time you get someone, they will either get on the phone or run into someone and say, hey, are you looking at uh, Josh's deal? It sounds pretty interesting. And, and or they'll say, I just saw something pretty interesting. You might want to take a look at this because they do. There's a lot of favor giving back and forth. And if I see you first and I think you're a pretty good company, then I'm going to do that. So uh, that's really the, the way to do that. And uh, again, just like everything else in the world is who you know, uh, and uh, that, uh, you know, it, but, but who you know could be the neighbor next door, the uncle of your best friend, mm -hmm. um, the aunt of somebody that you had, uh, you know, your kids go to school together. It could be anyone. You, just have to, you need to keep your eyes open to find that rare uh, species that is a venture capitalist who's going to take your call. Yeah. So, Guy. Where can people go to connect with you and learn more about the world of VC? Um, I actually do have a website now. It's called askgee.com, A-S-K-G-U-Y, my name, dot com. Cool. Fellow dealmakers, as always, reach out to our guests. Say thank you so much for being on the show, for sharing your wisdom and your knowledge and your experience with us. Um, as always, reach out to them. Their contact information will be in the show notes below, but this is a pretty easy one. Askgee.com, and it's spelled A-S-K-G-U-Y.com if you want to have a chat with a VC. Guys, I hope you're enjoying these seven minutes chats. And uh, if you have a deal that you'd like to talk about here on The Deal Scout, head on over to thedealscout.com. Fill out a quick form, maybe get you on the show next. Till then, we'll talk to you all on the next episode.